point, you wouldn't believe what my dad found. My dad found this adorable little baby bunny. It looks like he's very, very young. He found him at Jeff's. When they were moving some wood, he said that he found him under a piece of wood. And he said that it's possible that he got smashed by a piece of wood because his nose was, his nose was bleeding. So, I'm going to do some research on him and see if I can help him. So what I'm doing is I'm on Google and I searched up how to take care of an abandoned baby bunny and I'm writing down a bunch of information that I need to know to take care of him. So I learned that the baby bunny is about two weeks old and he does not need to be fed any type of milk. All I need to feed him is some hay, pellets, water, and some veggies. I also learned that I have to keep him in a dark, quiet place, no bright lights, no loud noises. And I think I'm gonna put him in the package room, which is obviously where we do package night, because it's pretty warm in there and I should keep him in a warm place. I came outside and I'm gonna get some hay for him. I moved him into a bigger box so he has more room to move around. This is the box that I put him in. It's a lot bigger. So he has a lot more room. Unfortunately, we do not have any pellets, so I'm just gonna feed him some hay and some veggies. I put the hay in the box and I put him in front of it, hoping he will eat. I'm gonna put this in the box so he can drink water. He does not want to drink. So I'm going to have to put a water dish in there with that so I can make sure he's drinking. I'm going to use this dish and I'm going to fill it up with water just in case he can't figure out how to use his water bottle. I put the water dish right next to the water bottle. It said I can feed him some veggies, but I think I'm just going to feed him some pig ears for now. I just got back from outside and I picked him some pig ears. So I was going to put the pig ears in the box and look what I saw. I'm going to put the pig ears in this corner. I totally freaked out and I thought he was missing. But wouldn't you know, he's under here. Luckily, I know he's safe and sound. I moved him downstairs to the package room because it's nice and warm in here. So that's it for today. I'll get back to you tomorrow morning and let you know how he's doing.